Hey guys, Professor Cesar. Uh, I'm here today to show you something about uh, the configuration, parameterization of uh, SMV751 from Lenzi. I'm going to make a remote control for uh, uh, S7 1500 from Siemens. Uh, I'm going to make uh, an analog control, so I'm going to send the the digital si signals to to start and stop, uh, and the analog signal to control the speed of the inverter. Okay, I hope you like. I'm doing this video because some some followers asked me for, and uh, I have uh, the same version of this video in Portuguese. Okay. Let's see. Here is our inverter. Uh, ESV751 from Lens. It's a new one. Very good one for some publications. Uh, our S7-1500 on our motor. Uh, before we start to, the, to turn on this Inverter, you must pay attention in the motor connections and main supply main supply connection. Take a look. Uh, the main supply is in the right side and motor connection left side. Okay. Uh, here there, there's some information about the connections, the the part, the, the standard of the cables uh, with uh, shields you must uh, uh, connect the protection earth shielding in the both sides okay here's the control terminals as you can see uh, we can use the PNP or NPN connection we must uh, take a look in this switch that you you change the the input modes. We're going to use the PMP because the output of the inverter is, uh, is going to make a high output. We're going to send a high output. The reference speed we're going to use 520 milliamps. The common uh, the, com the, the common connection here is the terminal 2. Here I have a simple diagram for the connection. Uh, we have here the terminals. The terminal 1 is going to uh, the input, which connected to output 0 from PLC. The 13A and 13B inputs are connected to output 1 and 2 from PLC. 0, output 1, and output 2. The common connection, okay, the, the measurement analogy, the reference of analog signal. Uh, the Output analog is connected to the input analog from inverter. Here we have the terminal descriptions. The input start stop, terminal 1. 13A and 13B is configurable terminals, uh, are configurable terminals, and the configurable. Uh, is configured in P121 and P122. Let's start the parameterization. Here's the parameter menu. P100, the source is terminal strip. P100, one terminal strip, you can change these buttons up and down, okay? If you confirm the parameter, Press M. Now 
one standard reference. As I said, 400 milliamps, 101, 2. P102 and 103 is the minimum and maximum frequency uh, when we are, we are using to with analog speeds, uh, reference, with speed reference, we must set the parameters P106 and 61 for minimum and maximum speeds. Uh, acceleration time, time uh, P100 far and this acceleration, the, the deceleration time P105. Uh, stop methods. Uh, we can use the, here's the inertial stop, so it's going to stop with the inertial of the motor. We're going to parameterize the uh, via uh, the deceleration ramp. P one hundred oh P one hundred eleven two and P one hundred twelve rotation forward and reverse P one one hundred twelve one Now, the assertion level, is, we're going to use level high, not low, because we are using the PNP inputs. So, P120, 2. And the terminals input uh, 13A and 13B. 13A, start forward, 13B, start reverse. Eleven, start forward. Thirteen B twelve, start reverse. Now the parameters are okay. Now we're going to PLC. As you can see here, we have uh, the PLC CPU 1512C. It's a very good one with uh, integrated inputs, 32 inputs, digital inputs, and 32 digital outputs, five uh, analog inputs, and two analog outputs. I want to see the terminals here. Uh, the address, the outputs, are going to use uh, three, out three terminals outputs uh, for the Q4.0, 4.1, and 4.2. And the analog outputs is very important to configure. You must define it to current, 420, milliamps. After that, you must download. Don't forget, uh, before download, don't forget to see the... the IP address. Now, here. Uh, I did, I did ever did the, the download, so there's no change to do. Uh, the analog output is the address is in the CW QW zero called two bytes it's two bytes zero and one first output and two and three uh, second outputs.
Here's a simple program. I define this memories to to start this coil. This is the uh, start and stop. Here's the uh, forward and reverse. Forward and reverse is the very important. Here is where I'm going to send the reference. I'm going to send a value from 0 to 100%. This block is going to convert it in uh, uh, zero, 0 to 1 val, uh, value. Then this KUX is going to convert a value from 0 to 1 in 0 to 27648. Because the output of the of the C, PLC, uh, the reference is zero to twenty-seven uh, six forty-eight. Uh, each PLC has its particularities, so you have much you uh, take a look in the manuals. Uh, I built this watch table just to see the the inverter here. Is our start stops I'm going to start okay i'm going to make the forward action it's just a positive edge here you can see i have a 20 percent reference this is the current output the reference to current output and now i'm going to one look The model has started. Change the speed to 100%. 80 hertz. 80 hertz. Eighty hertz here. And fifty percent. Forty hertz, about forty hertz. They were decreasing. Okay, I'm going to. So just a positive. I'm going to revert. Look, just a positive edge. Now it, the model is reversing its speed. One hundred again. And stop according to the deceleration ramp. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Start from my English and trying to improve it. Okay, see you in the next video.